Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me on the runway with my latest creation. Yes, this is a cargo SSTO, but it doesn't just go to orbit. It's SSTO, if you don't know, stands for Single Staged Orbit. But this can go to other planets. It can go to Eve, it can go to Duna, it might be able to go further if I was slightly better at the game, and maybe it will someday. But yeah, I thought I might, uh, after building this, try taking it to Eve, and um, that's what I'm doing today. It actually was originally designed as an asteroid lab. Basically the idea is that you would fly up, um, go fetch a very small asteroid in the cargo bay, and then bring it back to Kerbin. But, uh, yeah, when I got to the asteroid, um, which I thought was tiny, it was a size A asteroid, it was a little bigger than I thought, and that didn't really work out. So, let's just go into 4 times time accelerator and go to orbit. Yeah, um, I was expecting size A asteroids to be really tiny, like the one in the tutorial, which is basically just like a pebble in space, but apparently that one wasn't, so that was an hour of my life I'm not getting back. Um, I have a coffee here, which I realized that I hadn't actually finished when I started recording, so there will be intermittent coffee drinking during this episode, but yeah. Um, I haven't really done much with SSTOs in 1.0.5, or 1.0 at all, really, and... I thought of building a small SSTO, but that would be boring. I want a cargo SSTO, and obviously this was an asteroid lab, so it needed to be big. So I wanted to see if this was possible, and it is possible if you use eight rapier engines. And then I've also got a couple of nuclear engines for going into planetary, that's how it does that. I just fired them up so we get a little more efficiency going to orbit, because, um, well, these engines will uh, slowly drain out of thrust as we run out of... Uh, we're out of air, uh, but now we've switched over to liquid fuel and oxidizer mode because those are multi-mode engines, rapier engines. They're uh, much like Sabre engines for the Skylon spacecraft, which I'm not really sure what's happening with that, but I kind of hope it gets made because Skylon sounds baller as fuck. Anyway, now I'm shutting down the rapiers and using the very efficient um, nuclear engines to burn into orbit, but we need to cruise for a little while, use the aerodynamics of the spacecraft to raise our, apo our apogee, apo key? Yeah, apo key a little more, and yeah, I'm going to take another little sip of coffee before it goes cold. Yeah, I used a big swept wing design for this uh, for this spacecraft because, um, well, it just seems smart. You don't want a flat wing because then you have a bigger surface area, a uh, bigger kind of drag surface area, but it still has pretty big wings. Got a couple of radiators down there for cooling down the uh, nuclear engines. The only real problem with this is um, I only put, oh yeah, uh, forgot to do some symmetrying. So there's three RCS thrusters on one side and one on the other, so it's. Not great, but yeah, anyway, using the nuclear engines and occasionally a burst from the rapiers, as you can see, just to keep the thrust up, push myself all the way into orbit. Yeah, so a big cargo SSTO is uh, possible. I kind of knew that, but I'd been struggling with it, mainly because I wasn't using enough engines. You always need more engines. Anyway, I've planned my course to Eve, and now we're starting our burn. I'm going to do this burn in two parts because you get very little thrust from two nuclear engines. Well, you get quite a lot of thrust from two nuclear engines, but it's a very heavy spacecraft, so, you know, it takes a while to go anyway. You don't have a very big thrust-to-weight ratio. Uh, so, yeah, this takes a little while to do the first one, and here we are just finishing off after doing almost half of that burn. So now after lots of time warping and re-planning the maneuver, actually slightly more efficiently, I'm using less delta-v than I had left over from that last burn, so, woo! Yeah, efficiency or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, let's uh, head on to EVE. Uh, so yeah, just finish off the burn. It's often good to do it in two parts, so you don't, so you can, you know, maximize use out of the Oberth effect, and you don't um, skew if your orbit. I guess I'm just gonna have a little more coffee. Really should think about these things before I start recording, but that would imply I had a modicum of profession and profession. professionalness, professionalness, professionalness. Anyway, here we are finishing off the burn, and because obviously it takes a while, I just cut through it. And you can see, we're just bringing our periaps down to EVE. It's quite efficient to go to EVE because, um, I don't know, I, I, not efficient, it's quite... It doesn't take that much Delta V, it's kind of the easiest planet to get to and it has a lot of uh, high gravity. So yeah, although you'd have to do a plane change down near the sun. So, that's quite inefficient because physics reasons. Um, I'm sure you uh, can gather uh, physics reasons and stuff, yeah. <laughs> I don't fully know because... Um, I'm not an astrodynamicist. Anyway, I've sped all of this up so that you can just see me planning the maneuver because it was slightly off because, you know, point maneuvers and taking a while to do burns and such. And there we go. Now we just need to bring it in, uh, bring, bring it into EVE. Um, just a matter of lots of retrograding and uh, changing my plane. And yeah, there we go. Uh, EVE does distort the orbit quite a lot, which is uh, good for gravity assists. I was attempting gravity assists of Duna a little while ago, but 
apparently, um, apparently that's actually not particularly feasible. Apparently, Duna isn't very good for gravity assists, which is a weird one. I thought it might give me something, or maybe I was coming in at a weird angle. I'm not sure. I did try a lot of things, but it didn't work. Oh God, I know it was it was really depressing. It took me quite a while to get there, and. Uh, Anyway, yeah, you can see I've got a couple of struts on the wings, actually. That's because the wings are very long, and I didn't want them flexing too much and causing weird maneuvers. But this doesn't spend too much time in atmosphere. But, you know, for landing on Eve, it might. So, yeah, just going to perform another burn. Uh, to, but it is quite a hefty burn because we're so close to the uh, close to the sun. Um, more efficient to do your plane changes further away from your parent body and more efficient to do like prograde and retrograde um, burns closer to the closer to the body because then you can take maximum um, effect out of the O-birth effect which is something I only semi-understand I did figure it out once and then kind of forgot and now only semi-understand again so that's depressing anyway I'm just gonna finish my coffee there was more coffee than I thought there was gonna be there we go. We're done. All right, now we can be professional. All right. Okay, and now good. We're finishing off a burn. There was nothing to talk about there anyway. Doing a plane change in my plane. Haha. <laughs> plane change in a plane. Am I right, guys? Anyway, let's uh, finish that off and head on to Eve. Looks pretty good. We're in a pretty good place. Um, apparently there was a crossfade there, which I accidentally put in. Uh, and yeah, just drift down, and right here you can see Eve, and I want to see it from the window of the spacecraft. I want to see it from, sh sh what, what's that woman's name? Sheely Kerman, I think it's mostly women in this spacecraft. Talking about unicorns and stuff, I bet, I bet. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's all women talk about. Anyway, um, let's just, uh, yeah, so I, my plan here is put myself in a pretty high orbit, then aero break, because I don't really trust aero capture, especially around Eve, because... It's uh, quite a thick, deadly atmosphere, um, lots of death, you know, didn't really want death, so I, I decided to capture myself with my engines, <coughs> and then aero break, um, rather than aero capture. Anyway, trying to get some beauty shots, failing, and going back to burning, because I sped this all up too much. Well, not too much, there's too much to watch beauty shots. Anyway, there we go. And uh, I actually decide to do a little more of a burn to bring my Apple apps down because uh, aero braking on Eve uh, can be dangerous after some experimentation right here. Totally didn't quick save after that. The spacecraft was fine. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I decided to do the burn more because that happened. Quite a few quick saves in this. Quite a lot of burning in Eve's atmosphere. And um, at this point I'm thinking, hmm, getting down to Eve might be quite hard. So I think I do another quick burn and then start aero braking. And it may look like, why are you bothering aero braking now? Well, partly because um, it looks like I've done most of the de uh, the kind of circularization burn, but it uh, gets more costly the closer your apoapsis gets to Eve. So this actually saved quite a lot of delta V, and I literally don't have enough fuel to um, uh, to to do the rest of the circularization burn. So I'm gonna drop my periapsis inside Eve's atmosphere, and uh, yeah, just. Just freaking go. Now this won't be able to leave Eve because there's no atmosphere. Well, it's a lot of atmosphere. There's just not a lot of... Oh yeah, and here I was trying to go just kind of straight into the atmosphere. But that didn't really work very well because I didn't have enough kind of drag. So I decided to go flat into the atmosphere. But yeah, I won't be able to leave Eve because there's no, no oxygen or not enough to combust uh, jet fuel. So I won't be able to leave. <clears throat> but they don't mind. They like Eve. They're, it's purple and it has oceans. They probably aren't that nice to swim in. Um, I'm pretty sure they're like Mercury or something, but uh, it's, it's beautiful, man. Look at this Mercury. The fumes are making me so happy. And then you die. Anyway, so this is actually quite effective, this method of arrow breaking. Um, and yeah, so I just keep doing this like a lot. I'm going to cut most of it out, but I thought I'd just show the kind of first bit. And it's really nice just flipping up above Eve and coming back down. But yeah, I am quite worried about the deadliness of the deadly evil Evian atmosphere. Um... Because I've already totally didn't just burn up that one time that I had to reload. Uh, so, uh, descent might be quite difficult. But I am burning off like uh, over a, like a kilometer and a half of uh, velocity. Mostly through aero braking. Um, so, yeah. It should be fine, probably. <laughs> anyway, yeah. After lots and lots of aero braking. I mean, lots. I think this is the last one I've left in, and then just a few clips of me doing a little more arrow breaking. But yeah, it's nice to have wings, you know? Really slows you down. Um, I have to go pretty... 
I, I tr when I burned up, I was actually going very deep into the atmosphere as well. Um, and you can see here that um, I, it's, my periaps is actually only about six kilometers into the atmosphere. Anyway, cutting ahead, this is just me after I've uh, burned off like so much um, velocity, like 500 meters a second. My uh, apoapsis is coming down really low, just doing that, and then just another shot, and I'm actually starting to heat up here. You can see it's starting to glow a little bit. That's worrying, because that's that implies death. Anyway, and here's just another one. I think this is the last one I do before I finish off with the engines. You can see I don't have a ton of fuel left. Um, I do have a little oxidizer, actually, uh, which I probably should have got rid of somehow. Um, but, yeah. <clears throat> but you could imagine, I mean... After all, yeah, this is me finishing off my, uh, my my circularization with my engines. Yeah, you could imagine I could actually bring some uh, cargo to Eve. So even if this doesn't, <laughs> even <laughs> anything that has the word Eve is pretty even. Or eventually, I don't know. Whatever. Shut up. I hate you. Um, okay, this is this this commentary's falling apart. But yeah, you could imagine even if this can't land, um, I could uh, potentially bring cargo here and drop it into the atmosphere, which might be good. And then, I don't know, somehow get some fuel and come back. But yeah, what I'm doing here is um, raising my periaps because when I tried it with a lower periaps, this happened. This this is what happens when you try and go really steeply into Eve's atmosphere. Um, this was not going gentle into that good night. This was going like hard as fuck into that purple good night. So I, uh, you know, saner minds prevailed and you just saw me raising my uh, periaps so I could glide in and very gently get down to the surface. Um, hopefully. Now luckily Eve has a very gigantic continent so I can spend ages slowing down and you can see I'm deploying everything as an air brake. I didn't bring any air brakes or parachutes or proper RCS systems. Uh, this was quite quickly thrown together. <laughs> I might uh, have to do this properly at some point, uh, like fix it and maybe maybe send it to Duna. I think it could work better on Duna. Duna's slightly less dangerous, has a lot less atmospheric density though so it would be much harder to glide. But, you know, better than being on fire, but let's hope that we can get this down. We can't. Um, so, yeah, you can see it's already heating up. I'm about 82 kilometers and I'm gliding. What I'm doing here is using the aerodynamics of the aircraft or spacecraft or whatever, everything craft except watercraft. It doesn't work in water. It's just a space and aircraft. Um, yeah, and uh, it's it's. I'm just using the aerodynamics to lift my uh, apple apps up and lift my, you can see here I'm just kind of uh, rising up. Um, to try and stop myself heating so much, but still bleed off velocity. Lots of aerodynamic maneuvers, and this is all sped up to four times time accelerate because this took me like 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, the mathematicians among you may be thinking, 20 minutes? We've already been watching this for a little while. This, this, this deal, but I don't think in 20 minutes you can get to the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you may be, uh, you may be onto something there. Um, Anyway, so yeah, you can see it's really heating up now, and the only radiators I have on the spacecraft are to cool down nuclear engines, not EVE fire. But now I'm actually um, going far steeper because I slowed down quite a lot while lifting myself out of the atmosphere. But I'm still gently gliding down-ish, but we are picking up a lot of uh, a lot of heat. It's uh, getting quite hot, and we're not that, not that far down, and we haven't burned off much velocity at all. I'm trying to pull a very high angle attack to try and lift myself up, slash slow down, please, come on. Um, but yeah, the whole spacecraft's getting pretty hot, because Eve's quite hard without a heat shield. Um, and a plane is quite flimsy, but it's looking good so far, I haven't lost anything, I'm, I'm burned a bit, I'm heating up, but I'm, I'm holding together, it's looking good, we're gonna, we're gonna be fine, guys! <laughs> um, yeah, the Kerbals look happy enough, but they're always happy, they don't know what's going on, they're just drones. Um... <laughs> that sounded evil. Anyway, there's our first thing gone. It was just uh, some science stuff. Oh, there goes our tailplane. We don't need that. There goes the thing keeping the plane stable. We don't need that! There goes the stability of the aircraft. We don't need stability. We're going to the ground. So yeah, this didn't work out. I thought this was still interesting enough to upload it though. Uh, the plane's pretty cool, but as I said, I'll probably try and take this to Duna, get a video out of that, see if that works, see if this plane is even slightly useful. But Despite what's going on now, the mega death of it, yeah, there goes a bunch of stuff. And now it starts spinning, and my RCS is trying to fight it. You can see the RCS trying to pull it back to retrograde, but uh, I didn't do the RCS very well, and it's getting kind of out of control. So, that's a problem. Yeah, that that is a pretty serious problem. Um, 
So, uh, that's, yeah, oh shit, there's the spacecraft going. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to try and take this to Duna at some point in a future video. I hope you've enjoyed this craziness. Uh, you know, I, I hope you like these kind of interesting conventions. I want to do more of these videos. I feel like I'm not doing cool enough stuff, you know. I do a lot of war stuff, and that's fun, but, you know, KSP's a peaceful game. Let's try and build cool spacecraft and land on Duna and not die like just happened there. So... So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Cats Me With Tape. I will see you next time.